Good morning. Today we're going to start our discussion on a new topic which is called data wrangling. W-R-A-N-G-L-I-N-G. Oftentimes when we <clears throat> get data, when we're given data, oftentimes uh, it, it's not clean. When I say not clean, there are many items there or many observations that are either missing or some information or some variables that we really don't need. So it's important for us to learn how to clean the data, how to, let's say, uh, remove columns that are not needed or remove rows that are need, not needed. And this form part of what we call data wrangling. Others call this SQL, okay, SQL, which stands for SQL, which stands for structured, structured query language. Okay, structured query language uh, <clears throat> involves uh, getting data and then trimming it, quote unquote, trimming it, removing rows that we don't need, or removing variables or columns that we don't need, and then working on that that data that has been filtered or the uh, columns that we have selected. Okay, and the primary package that, that's used for that in R is Diplier. So, uh, if you haven't installed the package Diplier, can you install it now? Otherwise, you can. <clears throat> we can now. Uh, I think we have installed this before. So just access this. Let's just require this packages Diplier, ggplot, two, and the uh, and the package that we were using before, the NYC Flex thirteen. Okay, so. For Diplier, guys, there are <clears throat> many functions that we can learn from this. Why don't we first look at the cheat sheet? Okay, let's go to help and then cheat sheets. And then here we have Diplier. Okay, some pronounce it as Diplier R, some pronounce it as Diplier. So uh, I think it doesn't matter how, how we pronounce it. So let's open that first and then let's just take a look at what's inside this deep layer. So kindly open with me guys the cheat sheet for deep layer. Data transformation with <clears throat> Diplier. Okay, so we we said uh, in our first lessons that we make use of a certain uh, data structure called data table. Okay, so Diplier functions work with pipes. We have, uh, I think, we have already started using pipes before and expect tidy data. In tidy data, each variable is its own column and each observation or case is, is its own row. So this is the pipe function that we were uh, studying before. Okay, so there are certain functionalities that we can use <laughs> in, uh, in Diplier. So we have summarize, count. We can group the, we can group the variables We can combine tables. We can <clears throat> manipulate. <clears throat> so for manipulation, we have filter. Okay, when we filter, we extract rows that meet logical criteria. And this is the first function that we're going to learn uh, today. Okay, we can also slice. So there are several, uh, several functions that we can make use of uh, in DeepLayer. And it's a very powerful package. You can arrange your data. You can mutate. In mutate, you're going, you're introducing a new column, a new variable. You can either transmute or rename. Okay, so uh, several, several functionalities that you can use. Of course, if you want a more comprehensive uh, 
understanding of deep layer, you can go you can go to Quran and you can uh, download. Let me just show you so that you guys. I think I need to close. So. Liar. Quran. Okay, here. Reference manual deep layer. Okay, always uh, make it a habit, guys, to, uh, to make use of the reference manual. You can see here the, the many functions that you can use. Here you have filter. You have, uh, you have <clears throat> select. These are the things that we're going to. You have mutate. This one mutate. Okay, arrange, summarize, okay, and you have here how many pages? Eighty-one pages of instructions. Okay? And then, uh, what's good about this is that there are examples that you can use. For instance, we're going to discuss, the first one that we're going to discuss is filter. And if you go to page 27, this filter here, yeah, filter, okay, filter. And filter is uh, <clears throat> subsetting rows using column values. So the filter function, is used to subset a data frame. So if you want to extract from your original data, from your uh, data frame, a particular subset where you're removing uh, the rows, then you have, uh, you have to use the filter function. And what's good about this is that there are examples here. And for example, this one, <clears throat> okay, uh, you have this, uh, data if star wars and then what you want is to filter uh, the column the variable species only to include human okay in this one uh, the uh, variable mass only to include those that are greater than 1000 okay so these are the things that you can do with deep plier or deep ply r okay so let's uh, let's go here to our File. So these are the these are just some of the functions that we're going to learn. Of course, we don't have the uh, all the time. We don't have the uh, we don't have all the the time to study all the functions. But what's important for us is filter, summarize, group by, mutate. Uh, I'm missing the select. There should be select here. Sorry, I forgot to put here select. Let's just put here also. The select function, I'm going to learn that also. Okay, we're going to learn also the select function. Wonder I'll, why I missed this one. Okay, so filter, select, summarize, group by, mutate, arrange, and joins, and maybe add on uh, a bit more. And the objective, guys, is for us to be able to generate a tidy data, a data that will serve our purpose. Okay, the benefit to learning deep layer package is for data wrangling. That's what I, I was saying a while ago. It's similar to SQL, which is structured query language. And it's used to manage large databases quickly and efficiently. And it's widely used by many institutions with a lot of data. So uh, there, were, there was a time when the IT usually had the, uh, <clears throat> IT had the, uh, was responsible for safekeeping of the data. 
So for example, I'm with finance and I would want to uh, I would want to access some information, uh, let's say about the uh, the performance of our customers in terms of payment of juice, payment of receivables. Then I would have to force this through IT and then they will have to generate the output. Okay, and IT would use SQL, structured query language. Nowadays, guys, with R, <clears throat> uh, anybody can, in the company can do that. If you have the data, you can easily, uh, you can easily uh, wrangle your data. You can easily filter your data in such a way that what you what you have is the <clears throat> ID data, the data that you want. Okay, after filtering it, maybe selecting some variables. Okay. And the key here is the use of the pipe operator. Okay, and uh, if you recall, guys, what's the shortcut for the pipe operator? Any shortcut natin sa ano yung keyboard shortcut natin sa pag uh, in using the pipe operator? Guys? So how did I type that very quickly, guys? Okay, control shift M, thank you. Thank you, Angel, thank you, RJ. Or sa Mac Yata, it's a, a command shift M, okay, depending on your machine. Okay, and we have, uh, we, have uh, we have used this as an example before. And the usual uh, relationships, guys, this is greater than, less than, Okay, this is not equal to the exclamation point and then equal to. Okay, the the uh, horizontal, uh, the, how do you call this, the slash, this is or, and the ampersand is n. Okay, so we're going to use the flights data set. So this is from NYC flight, so let's view this. Okay, few flights not found. So data, data muna tayo, data, flights. Okay, let's run first the, okay, by the way guys, I'm using another, uh, I'm using another file. Okay, and so, if you'll notice uh, in a while, you'll see that you have there <clears throat> some blanks. <clears throat> Something so computer go Flights not found back up in the Pabana and NYC flights. Okay, let me make sure that NYC Flex has been installed. Certain certain. Okay, kindly chat guys if you were able to open already the data flights, the one that we have been using the past few sessions.
Huwag niyo ba it's running so slow. How about you guys? <clears throat> Na-access nyo na yung, ano, yung NYC flights package? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Saka, ang tagal. Talagang gumawa na itong equipment na ito. Library pala nyo. Thank you guys. Ang dahil lang ha. Oh. So I'm so slow. Okay, well, it's loading, guys. I'm sorry about this. So the first function that we're going to look at is a filter function. Filter, guys, allows us to remove rows that are uh, that we don't need. So, for example, if you have uh, uh, if you're if you're using a particular let's use this example. So we're using the uh, flights data set. Okay, as you know, guys, the flights data set has, okay, it's already available here, but the problem sa machine to guys, it's it's taking, I don't know why this is taking so long. In the view, kulang IO. Doesn't show. Problem here. Okay, let me just use head. Flights. Object flights not found. Okay, bucket data. Okay, so
Okay, well, it's loading, guys. So we have used this before. There are 336,000 observations. Now, if you want to, uh, let's say, uh, only access a particular, a particular subset of this, and then we would like to, for example, we would like to only uh, get the uh, information uh, for, let's say, uh, only January. Then we can, that means that we're removing all the uh, data from February to December. Then we can do that. Okay, and we use the filter, filter function. Okay, so our first, our first, uh, requirement is to create Alaska flights object by using the flights data set, then filtering the carrier variable to only include AS. Okay, so if we open the, the problem here is I can open the flights. Error. Flights not found. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, John. Uh, guys, give me uh, okay. I'll just I'll just close and uh, okay. all right. Remove Kumuna chat. Remove. Some, really something strong. I don't know if it's R or it's my machine. Okay, so let me open the files again. Apologies, guys, for this. Okay, good. I hope you cooperate now, please. Okay. Let me run this. Sige. Thank you, Angel, for your for your <coughs> suggestion. Sige. If this this does not work, sige. Uh, uh, let's do that. So hopefully, mukha na gawa na siya. Okay. So while it's running, all right. So kindly access the flights data set. Okay, and then uh, you, you, we know guys that the flights data set uh, contains several columns, uh, several variables. How many variables does the data set contain, guys? Okay, 
Kindly please. How many? How many variables, guys? Okay, thank you. 19, 19 variables, okay? 19 variables and we'd like, <clears throat> uh, when you use filter, guys, you will not change the, the number of the columns, the variables. It will still be, it will still be 19. What will change is the number of rows. If you're filtering, you're actually removing the number of rows. So please remember that. If you want to only, if you want to only select certain columns, certain variables, then you, you have to use select. Okay, so there's a difference between the filter function and the select function. In filter, you remove those rows that you don't need in select, you remove those columns that you don't need. Okay, so, so let me show you guys yung unang, yung unang question dito. Create Alaska flights by using the flights data set, then filtering the car car carrier variable to only include AS. Now you notice guys that uh, I left blank yung, uh, your uh, I left blank your file, okay? Because I want you to be writing it yourself, the function itself, okay? So here, we're creating an object called Alaska Flights. Let me, let me see this one. I hope you're okay, sure. Alaska Flights, we're creating this object and then we're using the flights data set. Okay. And then, we know this means and then, Okay, using the deployer function, okay, I'm just putting it here for us to uh, be uh, informed that the filter function is from deployer. Okay, of course I can I can remove this; it will still be the same. Uh, filter, and then what do we want to filter? Okay, we want only those rows where the carrier is equal to AS Alaska Airlines. So we are removing rows based on a particular column. The column that, we're be, that we are using is, the variable that we're using is carrier in order to remove certain rows, okay? So we're removing rows based on uh, a certain column, which is a certain variable, which is carrier, okay? So can you run this, guys? And Lee. And tell me how many observations do we have for Alaska flights? Okay, good, yeah, that's correct. 714. So from, from 336,000, uh, rows of observations, what happened was, Okay, so if I run this, If it doesn't run, guys, Sakan, it's okay. Uh, as long as uh, what's important is it runs in your machine. Okay, so uh, you're correct, 714 observations. So what happened was we were able to remove those observations 
that we didn't want in this case. We only wanted those that uh, that uh, have uh, uh, have carrier their carrier as Alaska Airlines, not AS. Okay, so the filter, guys, is a very powerful function. Imagine, guys, from 336, we were easily able to, to remove more than 336,000 rows okay? and, and filter our data set. So ngayon, dapat meron na tayong panibagong object na Alaska flights. Alaska flights should, should appear here, guys, in your, in your global environment. Does it appear now in your global environment? Can you chat, please? If yes... You should have Alaska flights now here in your global environment because that we already created that object. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for your feedback. Okay. Now, next, guys. I want you to create an object called Portland Flights to include all flights from New York City <clears throat> to Portland and then view the data set. Okay. Uh, remember, guys, that this data set are all from New York City. Okay, I want you now to create this object called Portland Flights and yung, yung symbol for Portland is PDX. Okay, I'll give you a minute for that, please. And then we'll compare notes. Okay, so 1354. Okay, did you get 1354? And did you use this, guys? Thank you, Vicky. How about the rest, guys? Did you get 1354 observations? Okay, thank you, Gab. Okay, Angel, Jonas, very good, very good. Thank you so much. So you should have this code. We create this object, Portland flights. Okay, and then we're using the flights data set and then we filter. Okay, once again, guys, this function filter. And then based on a particular column or variable, destination is equal to PDX. Okay, notice guys that we're using uh, the double equal to. What happens guys, could you kind of check if you use only one? One equal to, will it run? Thank you, Mark. RJ, John, thank you. Will it run, guys, if you used uh, only destination is equal to? I'm still trying to resolve why I'm having a problem with my so let me see. Error in filter, error, yes. Okay. So error. Uh, that's why guys, uh uh here we have to use the double equal to. No? Kasi pag isang equal to lang yan, hindi mag-run yan. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, how about guys? Ano ba to? Uh, I don't think you have it here. No? Kasi ginamit ko sa isang class. No? 
Now, if you want, guys, if you want, add na lang natin to, no? If we want that the origin should be JFK and then the destination should be PDX. So notice, guys, that there are these are two conditions. Dapat yung origin niya, JFK, and yung destination niya dapat uh, PDX. No? So how do we do that? Will this work, guys? Is this the correct code for that? The, the requirement is dapat, dapat galing na siya sa JFK, tapos dapat papunta siya ng Portland. <clears throat> so, is this the correct, is this the correct code for that? So, I'm naming it JFK PDX flights. Dito yung mga ano, dito yung mga variables pero hindi nag-appear mga values. Okay, yes, yes. Alright, now what will hap what happened guys dun sa function? Thank you Vicky for your feedback. No? So what does this mean guys? Filter origin is equal to JFK. Now this symbol guys stands for OR. OR. Destination is equal to PDX. So what happens is that if we if we do this, what will uh, be generated are as long as my JFK siya, and as long as in destination niya, PDX. Okay, so it will be included. So if we if we run this guys, how many observations will we have? How many observations? One, one, one. Thank you, Jonas. One, 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 eight, fifty. How about the rest? Yeah, you got it. Okay, let's compare that now to this one. Use n. So, ito guys, ilang observations to. Kasi kanina yung or ang dinamit natin, one, one, one thousand. Seven eight three. Okay, good. Thank you, thank you. All right. So thank you guys for your immediate feedback. No, so you can see here the difference, guys, between the OR and the end uh, operator. Pag OR operator, guys, for as long as my JFK siya papasok siya, or pag may, pag may PDX siya, it will be included. So, pwede pumasok, guys, kahit ang origin hindi lagwardja hindi JFK, pwede lagwardja siya. Pwede mo work siya. No? Pwede pumasok yun. Basta PDX kasama. Okay? On the other hand naman, kapag N, then you, if you look at your observations, you told me it's 783. It strictly complies with the requirement that dapat JFK lang at PDX lang. Okay? You cannot find any other observation that that's uh, where the origin is L. Uh, LGA or the origin is EWR, no? and you cannot find any observation where the destination is not PDX. Okay, so that was just to illustrate an indifference ng N at saka yung OR. Okay, good. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, talagang may problema ako sa, ano, sa, sa either sa ARCO or I don't know. Sa okay, now uh, how about this, guys? Filter flights for, for all rows that 
departing from JFK and going to uh, Vermont, Burlington, Vermont, BTV yung ano niya, yung code, or shuttle SUA, <clears throat> and depart and departed in the months of October, November, or December. <laughs> okay. So, sa tingin nyo guys, ano to? Or or N? Any chat please? If uh, we have to use N or or here. Before you do that, guys, before you try to hold this. So, dapat from JFK lang, tapos papunta lang ng, yeah, both, uh, both po, papunta lang ng Burlington or Shuttle, okay? And dapat October, November, December lang. Okay, in a sense, yeah, uh, ang sabi ni Vicky dito, both, both po, both merong and at saka or, no? Yung or dito, ano guys? Pwedeng BTV or pwedeng shuttle. No? Tapos ano pa? Pwedeng October or November or December. Okay, sige. I'll give you a minute guys to, to run this. <coughs> so filter din natin to. Filter. Si JFK filter, si destination filter, si months. So while you do that, I try to once again load. What's happening here? Patience. So how many observations, guys, did you get? And the chat, please, how many observations?
Anyone, friends? So when you when you look at your data, guys, uh, everything should be uh, coming from JFK. Tapos uh, yung destination natin either BTV lang or shuttle. And then yung uh, months natin dapat October, balik 10, 11, 12 lang. Anyone, guys? Okay, pocket chat now, please, if you got it or, or not, guys, so that I know. Five, five, fifty five, five, four, five, Angel, thank you. Okay, thank you, Angel. How about the others? Okay, Angel, fifty five, five, four, five, observation, Shinahuhan. Iba, guys. Fifty-six eight nine seven. Thank you, Kezia. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Angel. Thank you, Kezia. The rest. So, may you may differences tayo, no? How about how about the uh, others? What did you get? How many observations? Okay, Gab fifty-five five four five. Thank you, Gab. Thank you, Bob, guys. Any other answers, guys? Waiting for the others. One more minute, guys, for you to share your number of responses. Okay, I guess uh, wala nang uh, attempt sa mga. Okay, nga pala yung, uh, yung, yung name. Okay, so let's compare guys. Okay, take a look at this. Yun. I wonder why it's yeah, yeah. I what happened. 
All right. So here, I'm creating, we're creating this uh, object, BTV SEA flights during fall. Okay. So from the flights data set, we filter. How do we filter nothing? Origin is equal to JFK and take take a look at these guys. And okay. And so see destination or to no? BTV or shuttle para kasama yung pareho. No? <clears throat> and and then destination BTV or shuttle and then end <clears throat> another end. Okay, month should be greater than or equal to 10. Okay, so let's uh, I'm going to view this. I'm going to run this. Sana magran siya. Hey, can you tell me, guys, how many observations did you get from this uh, filtering? Notice, guys, kinumbay natin, ano? And, tapos end. Okay? Origin is equal to JFK lang. And, sa destination, guys, meron tayong OR. No? BTV OR <clears throat> shuttle. Then close. And then another end. Mark dapat greater than that. Eight one five, eight one five, eight one five, eight one five. Okay, so imagine a bagu and another, you know, from fifty five or fifty six thousand, the gain eight one five. So let's see, let's see, kung, let's see, kung, uh, sorry guys, talaga medyo may problema talaga tong, you know, uh, but I, I think mas tama yung eight one five, ano, kasi dadalaw na lang, ano natin, yung origin natin, JFK. Uh, yung origin natin, isa lang. No? Tapos yung destination, BTV and shuttle. Okay, and then yung month natin should be October, November, or December. I, I think that the... Uh, I'm not sure, but I think this is the correct answer in 815. <clears throat> okay, so sandali lang ha. Okay. Uh, here, guys, let me check on. I use this in another class. It's not like I have a lot of Take a look at this. Can I add this, guys? Ito. So, here I'm creating this object flights one to nine. And then flights, and then filter not any month less than 10. What will this give us, guys? What will this function give us? Without running these guys, what do you think will this give us? Eight one five observations. Yeah, you're correct. Eight one five observations. Problem with the guy is Okay. Okay. Okay, correct, no? Uh, sabi ni Mark, thank you Mark, all the flights from January to September. Okay, so, yung bibigay sa atin ito, it's a simple filtering, where you were filtering yung month, less than 10, ibig sabihin, lahat ng flights from January up to September. 
Okay, hindi kasama si October, November, December. Okay, I think I'll just quit trying to access or to view the uh, result kasi talaga nagkakaproblema yan. Okay, error siya. Okay, next. Next is... Sabi ko dito, we can often skip the use of end and just separate our conditions with the comma. So, yung end, guys, pwedeng ganito yan. Okay. Origin is equal to J at K and yung dalawang destination and yung month. Then. Okay, so... You end nothing, guys. We replace it by a comma, so that that's okay. Pwede natin, pwede na, pwede na, pwede Okay. All right. So yeah, I'll I'll give you a few seconds to to write the code. Di ko kasi din nagay dito yan. Sorry. There. You can just copy the previous code and then replace the end with a comma. So R will read that as a as uh, end. Okay, there's a question here. Okay. Uh, Angel, what I'm going to do is I'll make you co-host, no? Angel, I'll make you co-host. And then uh, he show me screen mo. Tapos, i-run natin yung code na tinatanong mo. Then, we analyze it as a, as a class. Kasi guys, may question si Angel dito. Sabi niya, what's the difference between destination or destination and destination is equal to C, BTV, and uh, shuttle? So, let's see what will happen there. Angel, could you kindly stop share ako tapos paka-share yung screen mo? Yes, sir. Thank you. Your pause, sir. So, for lines 105 to 107, it's the first one. Okay. When I run it, it results in 115 observations. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then for the second one, when I run it, it results in 389 observations only. Okay, sige. Tingnan natin ulit yung code mo. Yeah, that's a very good question. Sabi ni, itong code natin dito, destination is equal to BTV and C. No? What's the difference between this one and uh, the other one? Kasi dito yung ano natin, yung, yung sa pangalawa, 389 na lang. May mga natanggal, di ba? Nabawasan tayo ng, ano, ng 400, 400, uh, 426, 426 observations. Okay. So what could be the difference, guys? Tingnan natin yung ano ah, yung let's see. Uh, let's see first yung, yung 815 observations. Uh, could you go up? Okay, so and then yung sa pangalawa, yung sa natin. 389 observations alam ko. JFK. 
Yung first natin dito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 siya talaga. Uh, could you take a look at the first sub-fall one? Ito naman, shuttle, shuttle. Yung first two shuttle. Tapos, BTV dito. So, ano nangyari? Natanggal yung BTV dito. Okay, okay, guys, pakailan nyo rin na. I'm sorry, hindi ko marant. So, na, uh, yeah, it, it's quite difficult for me to look at this also. But that's a very good question. No? Uh, kasi on the surface, guys, paki ano ulit yung code. No? On the surface, it looks like dapat pareho lang siya, di ba? It should be the same. Kasi destination natin dito, kinukombine natin si BTB at saka si Shackle. Okay, and then, uh, and then, kasama yung month na greater than 10. Okay, that's an interesting question. Uh, uh, I'm trying to figure out kung ano kaya yung difference na. BTV and Shuttle. If ever po, it's okay. We can go back to it. I don't want to oh, hold up. Sige. Uh, yeah, thank you, Angela. Uh, honestly, guys, hindi ko pa alam yung answer, ano, yung kung bakit, ano, kung bakit magkaiba. No? But I'll look at look into that. No, That's a very good question, Angel. Kasi I, I would have also thought that uh, the same lang siya. No? Okay, sandali, ha? Share screen with them. So let me put that as a question here, as a file ko. So that I'll see the difference. I'll, I'll see what... Okay. Okay, so let me check this. Huh? All right, so let's move on. Thank you, Angel, for that question. Let me address that question. I'm sorry I'm not able to answer that now. But it looks like uh, may, may nuances talaga. No? So uh, one lesson that we learned here is that very particular guys yung, ano, yung, yung mga operators natin. Kasi dito sa una, destination is equal to BTB or destination is equal to shuttle. Of dito, destination is equal to uh, i-co-combine natin si BTV at saka si shuttle. So, interestingly, iba yung answer niya. So, at the, as of the moment, guys, I don't know the answer to that, but let me explore that and let me explain that to you hopefully next meeting. Huh? And thank you, Angel, for that beautiful question. Very good. Very good. Okay, sige. Tuloy lang tayo, ha? Next. Uh, filter rows corresponding to flights that didn't go to Burlington or shuttle and call the object not BTV or shuttle. 
Okay, so this this time guys, ang sabi sa atin, okay, dapat hindi daw ang galing sa BTV or sa shuttle. So we can use this function, not, no? not to. Filter not destination is equal to BTV or destination is equal to shuttle. So can we can you can you kindly run this guys and what do we have? How many observations do we have? Thirty-three. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Vicky. How about the rest, guys? Okay, Jonas. Thank you. It looks like, guys, para para ako tayo, ano? Thirty-three, three zero two six four. Good, RJ Salama. Hey, God. Thank you. Hey, okay, I hope the rest are also part of following guys. No. So if you check guys in destination, you'll notice that you won't find any BTV or shuttle. In those uh, uh, in the uh, destination column. So yeah, let's continue. Okay, where did you go, guys? Will this work? Destination not BTV and then the comma. Remember the comma and destination not shuttle. Or you can replace this by N, no? Could you kindly check, guys, if you got the same same uh, object? Engine error for the one with the camera. So many bars. So, kung kamalin din na guy, ano nangyari? Did you try the comma, guys? Did this work? Yung kama lang. Okay. How about the, the end, the ampersand? Yung end ba nag-work dito? Kung end ang gamitin natin. Okay, so again, error siya dito, yung end. Plus, whether you whether you use comma or end, nag error siya. Okay, I think, uh, sorry guys, ha, hindi ko talaga ma-illustrate ma sa inyo kasi hindi nag-run tong R ko. Okay, however guys, Ano yung kaiba yung kanina yung ginamit natin yung kama okay, at saka yung, ano, yung N? What was the difference? Take a look at uh, yung mga yung ano natin, yung nakuna natin ginamit yung N at saka yung kama. What was the difference guys? Dito, guys. Ano difference nila? Could you kindly uh, comment on that?
Any comment? Kasi kanina we use kama eh, ba? And then sabi nga natin, pwedeng gamitin instead of yung, yung end, pwedeng gamitin yung kama. Pero ang tanong, how was yung end or the kama used in this instance? Is there a difference, guys? I don't know to scale, guys. Hello? Different variables. What do you mean, Vicky, by different variables? I really apologize, guys, for hindi ko masyado ma-explain kasi hindi, uh, it would have been easy for me to explain this if I'm running the code na tapos explain ko sa inyo yung differences. So, so uh, what I'm going to post, guys, uh, ano natin, sa canvas natin, is a recording of uh, this one in another class. No? Kasi uh, na-discuss ko na to with another class. Tapos dun, nag-run yung, ano dun, yung, yung data set ko. Dito hindi eh. Kaya, kaya ang dami natin, ang dito, ang daming stops, ang daming, ang daming hindi ko ma-explain. And I'd like to apologize for that, guys. No? Really sorry. Okay, sabi ni Vicky, iba yung criteria for origin, destination, and map. Okay, so dito, Vicky, are you, are you referring to this one? Okay, sige, ganito na muna guys. Since hindi nag-run sa akin, no? Na muna. I will hold in the ano ko na muna, I suspend ko muna yung discussion guys ng yung difference, yung end dito. If we take a look guys, yung end dito, at saka end dito, or kama dito, at saka kama dito, iba siya dito. It's different here. There's a difference dito. Ang question, ano yung difference nila? Why did it work? Uh, why did it work there sa taas and here it doesn't work bakit hindi, na, hindi siya nag-work dito yung kama or your end and there's a reason for that guys no? so I, I'd like you to uh, uh, think about that first no? and uh, babalikan natin next meeting yan kasi gusto ko guys may papakita ko sa inyo dito no? Kasi hindi siya nag -run. So let me just uh, skip that for a while. Okay. All right. How about this, guys? I'm creating this object called X. And then it's from the flights package. And then filter natin. Not your destination though, not BTB or destination shuttle. What do you think will happen with this one? Ano mayayari sa code na to? Could you comment guys? What do you have here?
Anyone? How many observations is this, friends? Three thirty three three four. No? So ang total natin kasi three three six. So ano ibig sabihin nun, guys? What does uh, not destination equal to BTV indicate? So ang ibig sabihin ng not not uh, destination is not BTV. All the other observations except BTV. Diba? Tapos or not and destination is equal to shuttle. Right? So kasama si shuttle. Eh kaso guys, dito sa not not equal to BTV. Kasama din naman talaga si shuttle doon eh, di ba? Okay. So much so that if, even if you remove this, we can say guys, redundant tatong or na to dito. If you remove this guys, will it will it give the same answer? 334 pa rin ba? Okay, flights with destination of correct angel, no? Flights with destination of BTV will be dropped, no? So <coughs> <laughs> will it be the same even if you remove this in or na to? <laughs> will it still be 334? Okay, answer nga guys. Okay. Yes sir, same output. Yes, correct. No, Same output pa rin guys. Kasi yung destination not equal to BTV it means it also includes shuttle, di ba? Kasi si shuttle hindi naman BTV yun eh. Tapos dito dinagdag pa natin or destination is equal to shuttle. So, what does this tell us, guys? <clears throat> what does this tell us? Be careful of superfluous uh, uh, superfluous na, na restrictions. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ito, hindi naman, hindi naman kailangan na yun eh, di ba? Kung ang gusto lang natin, guys, hindi kasama si BTV, enough na to. Kasi ito sinasabi pa natin, isama mo si Shuttle ha. Pa, pa, di ba? Pag, hindi, pag sinabi natin hindi na kasama si BTV, obvious yun na kasama na si Shuttle. Right? That's what I meant here. So, uh, careful tayo guys sa pag-ano, sa pag-filter. Uh, Kasi, misan, we tend to uh, make superfluous uh, restrictions na hindi naman kailangan. That was the point here. Okay? Alright. So, it's almost time, so ito na lang. I'll, let me just end with this. Okay, ito guys. What happens here? Anong kaibahan nito? Hmm? Okay. How many rows here? How many rows of observations? Thank you, Angel. 330264. How about the rest, guys? Did you get 330? Vicky, 330. Uh, Jonas, okay. Yeah, 330264. So, ano nangyari, guys? Anong tinanggal niya dito? Well, now, All flights with, oh, yeah. <laughs> Akala ko yung BTV and bird drop. Thank you, Angel. Tinanggal, di ba? Tinanggal yung BTV at saka yung shuttle. Okay, it's already time, guys. 
Now, I want you to compare this with, so itong 140 at saka 143, compare nyo dito, ano? dito sa 124. Kasi sabi nyo kanina, hindi na grant yung 124. Eh. Ano yung difference nila? Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let me stop there, guys. I'm sorry, I hindi nagran yung ano yung mahirap mag-discuss, guys. Ang ano. Now, what I'm going to post, stop recording ko na muna. Kasi 